Well, have you seen the word flu Rona popping up on social media recently? It's one of the top searches on Google last week, and a lot of people are wondering what it is and if it's a new strain of COVID. Wake Up Charlotte's Megan Bragg verifies. We received this question from Mary F. She asked, my daughter tells me the flu and COVID have merged. I looked it up, but what I read did not really give me an answer. So the question, did the flu and COVID merge to create a new strain of COVID-19? Let's verify. Our sources, cardiologist Dr. Pyle Coley, the World Health Organization, and the CDC. The CDC's description of the flu and coronavirus are pretty similar. Both are upper respiratory infections and have similar symptoms such as fever, congestion, cough, muscle aches, headaches, and fatigue, to name a few. These infections, if you think about it, tend to travel in the same way through close human contact, through surfaces. So many of the same risk factors for one infection translate into risk factor for the other. But did they join forces creating one new infection? So this is a, a myth on social no. media. So the flu Rona is not a super fancy Omicron variant. We don't believe that one single virus can cause both the flu and COVID at this time. Cardiologist Dr. Coley says what some are calling flu Rona simply means catching the two infections at the same time. You absolutely can get COVID and flu at the same time. They're two different viruses. We have seen multiple cases of that occurring. So you want to be especially careful, even if you've gotten boosted and vaccinated for COVID, to make sure that you're getting that flu shot and keeping your guard up. The World Health Organization says it recommends use of the term co-infection instead of calling it a new strain. Dr. Coley says getting fluorona can cause a longer recovery process. If you've got two infections at the same time, it's really going to be hard on your immune system. You can imagine that it's fighting two different opponents at the same time, so the course of illness might be longer. Dr. Coley says it's important to protect yourself and follow guidance to not be infected by these two viruses, either separately or together. So we can verify that no, the flu and COVID-19 have not merged to create a new strain of COVID-19. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg.